This problem is related to density of CaCl type solid. So let us read this problem. So we have to calculate two things. We have to calculate edge length of cubic unit cell and we have to calculate density and CSCL follow a BCC lattice that is body centered cubic. And this is shown here. So CS atom we have inside this unit cell at the body centered and we have chlorine atom on the eight corners. If I make a cube then we can say this is CS atom in the middle and here we have chlorine atom here we have chlorine atom so these all eight corners are basically chlorine atom so this is CL this is CL this one is the edge length now if you see this CS atom this chlorine atom and this CS atom are basically touching to each other so atoms are touching along the body diagonal so chlorine atom here and this CS atom and this CL atom are touching so atoms are or ions are along the body diagonal so we can calculate the body diagonal length we have here one CS atom one CL atom one CL atom we can show in another diagram so this is your CS atom and let us say this one is CL atom and this one is another CL atom and these three atoms are touching so this is radius of anion this one is radius of cation and this one is radius of anion so basically this body diagonal is equals to radius of anion plus two times radius of cation because this is diameter plus this is radius of anion so body diagonal is equals to 2 times r plus r minus but the body diagonal is equals to root 3a if this length is a the length of body diagonal is root 3a this can be proved by geometry so let us try to prove this So if this length is A, this length is A, then this length will be root 2A. So AB will be a square of this plus a square of this and under root. That is root 2A. Now we have to calculate length AC, that is the body diagonal. Length AC this will be a square of AB plus a square of BC under root so we have to square this one 
and we have to square a b and then we have to root take root this is pythagoras theorem so we are using pythagoras theorem so a c is equals to a b square a b is root 2 a b c is a because this is cube so all length are a so this length is 2a square plus a square under root so this is under root 3a so we can say body diagonal ac is root 3a and this is given to 2 times radius of cotton plus radius of a9 so we can write root 3a is equals to 2 times radius of cotton plus radius of a9 cotton is cs and length is given 1.81 and this is 1.67 so we will have edge length this is equals to 2 times divided by root 3 so let us calculate this value so we will have 2 times one point eight one one point six seven this divided by a square root of three so this is four point zero one and unit will be in angstrom so edge length is 4.01 angstrom because this unit is in angstrom next part we have to calculate density and we know density is a intensive property so we can calculate density by unit cell so density will be mass of unit cell divided by volume of unit cell now see first calculate mass of unit cell So unit cell contains, if you see unit cell contains one CS atom that is completely inside this unit cell. So it contains one CS atom and it also contains one CL atom. We have eight corner atoms and contribution to each CL is 1 by 8. So we have 8 into 1 by 8 that is CL atom so we have one CS atom plus one CL atom cesium has a mass of 132.9 amu and chlorine has a mass of 35.5 amu so mass of unit cell 132.9 plus 35.5 so this is 168.4 we can also convert into gram we have to divide this by Avogadro number 10 to the power 23 this is gram this is because we have 1 amu is equals to 1 by 6.023 into 10 to the power 23 gram now let us calculate volume volume of unit cell this is simply a q we know the edge length that is 4.01 angstrom 
so this is around 4.01 10 to the power minus 8 centimeter so we will have 4.01 into 10 to the power minus 24 centimeter cube so from here we can calculate density that is mass by volume so we have mass 168.4 this divided by 6.023 10 to the power 23 and volume we have 4.01 into 10 to the power minus 24 and unit will be gram per centimeter cube so this is 168.4 divided by this 23 this 24 so we'll have 10 on the top 6.023 into 4.01 raised to the power 3 so we can calculate 1684 divided by 6.023 into 4.01 raised to the power 3 so we have 1684 divided by 6.023 into 4.01 raised to the power 3 so this value is 4.33 so this density is around 4.33 gram per centimeter cube. So density of CSCL lattice or CSCL solid this is 4.33 gram per centimeter cube. So you see, if cation and anion radius is given, we can calculate cubic edge length and if we know the total contribution of atom inside this cube, we can calculate density of unit cell that is same as density of solid.